And man, I was watching the um, the Woodstock documentary. We talked about it the other day, the uh, Woodstock '99 documentary, which is absolutely awesome. And so many of those bands that were massively huge for Woodstock '99, they got their start at WAAF, the only station that really rocks up there in Boston. And a lot of those uh, bands, uh, some of their first interviews ever were either on uh, me and Anthony's show or on the station in general. We actually did one of the first interviews with Fred Durst. I believe that interview happened when we did our, uh, our, our famous turkey hunt stunt when we were in the rock bus and we promoted the fact that everyone would get a chance to uh, catch their own turkey for Thanksgiving. And uh, these people showed up in this field outside of Boston. We had this giant rock bus that we were recording from. And I believe Fred Durst came in for an interview. He came and uh, met us. And uh, the bit was basically you run out in the field and go find your, your turkey. And when you find a turkey, that is yours for Thanksgiving. And the local press was so mad. And everyone was uh, wanting to boycott me and Anthony and the station and blah, 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 blah. And then me and Anthony announced, and, and you got to remember, there was a crowd in front of the rock bus as we're going to announce what is going to happen with this radio bit. They were holding uh, nets. They were holding bats. They were holding hockey sticks. They were holding all sorts of homemade weapons. And then we had to announce that the turkeys are all in the field, and the field was huge. So go find your turkeys. And they got all excited and they're ready to run in the field to try to get their own turkey for Thanksgiving. And then we finally told them that what they're really looking for is paper turkeys that we laid around the field and behind trees and in bushes and whatnot. And if you um, get one of those uh, paper turkeys and bring it back to the, the rock band, we'll give, you, we'll give you a coupon to get an actual frozen turkey for Thanksgiving. So it was an edgy bit that got everybody talking. And then, you know, at the end, uh, it kept everyone safe and kept us from going to jail. The audience would not have it. And they wanted to beat the crap out of me and Anthony. So we're in the rock bus as they're pelting the rock bus with rocks. They were so mad that they couldn't uh, hunt for, for a, a live turkey for Thanksgiving. And they were mad that they, they felt like they were had. And we're like, no, man, you still get a turkey. Just if you find one of the paper turkeys, bring it back. You'll get the coupon. And then you can get your frozen turkey. But, man, they were not having it. And um, they broke the windows in the rock bus. They put all sorts of dents in it as they're punching the thing, throwing everything they could find at the rock bus. We were in trouble for a little while there. And we were, we were actually ducked down in the rock bus because we didn't want the glass from the windows breaking to, you know, to cut us all up. And I mention all this today because I do believe, but I have to double check on this, that uh, Fred Durst was in that rock bus for an interview before all hell broke loose. I believe he left before, you know, the craziness. But uh, looking at that Woodstock 99 documentary, man, there were so many bands that we had uh, we had the first interview for, man. Corn, Limp Bizkit, trying to remember some of the others from uh, the documentary. But, uh, man, Corn hung out with us a ton, a ton before they went mainstream because – the beauty of WAF up there in Boston was the fact that we had a really bad signal. So ratings didn't really matter. Uh, we, had a, we had to be cool with, uh, with everybody with word of mouth. And because of that, we were able to play much cooler music than uh, our competition at the time, WBCN. So we took chances with Limp Biscuit and Corn and other bands. I know that sounds crazy now. But back in the day, you were absolutely were taking chances with bands like Limp Biscuit and Corn, and um, and then you know they were so damn good that finally all the other rock stations were brave enough to start putting their music on their uh, on their uh, stations.